What's up guys, Tao here. Uh, today let's talk about the graphics card. Um, so currently I have a EVGA GTX 980 SC in my current rig, just there. Um, so I here I have a uh, uh, AMD a Radeon HD 5870 graphics card. I know this card is very, very old now. I think it's about eight years old now. Uh, so it's gonna be interesting to see how this card uh, against the card I have in the rig right now uh, kind of interesting to see what's the result uh, like. Uh, if you are also interested, please uh, stick around. Before we go ahead, just want to point out that uh, this video is not about the AMD versus Nvidia or Final Cut Pro versus Premium Pro. Now this is simply my uh, non-scientific DIY test uh, just to see the performance difference between these two cards. So yeah, uh, bear that in mind. And also the synthetic software or benchmarking software we'll be using are the uh, Geekbench 4, uh, OpenCL Ocean Wave, and the Unigine uh, Valley, and also the uh, Cinebench. Now the real uh, performance or real test I personally want to see is how these two cars uh, perform against each other within the Final Cut Pro. Um, I know um, Probably is a fact, AMD car performed better in the Final Cut Pro uh, X, but this car is really, really old. Uh, just for me, it's very interesting to see uh, what's the performance look like between those two cards. So yes, let's uh, go ahead. But before we go ahead, uh, let's have a look at these two cards first. Alright guys, it's the result time. Um, you guys probably uh, predicted that uh, the GDX 90 SC will crush the uh, HT5870 in terms of the uh, synthetic bench mark. Um, as you can see here, the uh, GDX 90 absolutely crushed the uh, 5870 in the Geekbench 4 and also the Unigine Valley. Uh, I think the pure reason because the um, 5A70 only has one gig VRAM and much lower clock speed. So therefore, in terms of within those benchmarks, the, um, the, the, the GTX 980SC just has much, much higher score. But uh, there are interesting points I need to point out that within the Ocean Wave uh, OpenCL testing, the VRAM speed on the Radeon HT 5A70 is a lot faster than the uh, GTX 980SC. Uh, although the final result, the uh, GTX 90 crushed the uh, 5A70, but it's worth to note that the VRAM speed on the old Radeon card actually is really, really fast. Uh, I'm not sure if the software detected right, but no, this is the only way for me to tell you guys the VRAM speed on the card. And also another interesting point is in the Cinebench, the score of the old Radeon card actually is a lot higher, uh, about 20 points, almost 30 points higher. Um, yeah, this is kind of interesting to see. All right, uh, the next big test result is within the Final Cut Pro X. Um, I use uh, uh, three different clips. The first two are standard definition is 1080p. The last one is 4K uh, video clip I shot on the iPhone 8 Plus. And uh, the first two clips, I use them, uh, one of them for rendering purpose, the other one for exporting the footage uh, with the uh, H.264 codec. Uh, now it's um, on the GDX 90, the render time is 3 minutes 14 seconds uh, roughly 
and the the export time of that clip is the 5 minutes 24 60 uh, seconds um, this bit interesting thing on the uh, HD 5A70 the render time is longer it took 3 minutes 31 seconds um, however the export time of that file is shorter is 5 minutes 19.14 seconds now this is interesting um, looks like the AMD card does help a little bit on the export uh, once you render the whole clip and then just to export the file to H.264 codec uh, seems like um, H.264 code codec like the AMD card uh, but you know I could be wrong if you guys have different opinion you can leave the comment down below and then we can discuss about that uh, now the last clip is the 4k uh, video clip so I did uh, render and export on the same clip um, on the GTX 90 the render time was 2 minutes 59.92 seconds and uh, the 4k export it was 17 minutes 5.76 seconds now on the uh, Radeon HD 5870 the <laughs> The interesting thing is the 4K render is exactly the same time, which is 2 minutes 59.92 seconds. Now bear in mind this HD 5870 is very very old card. So I'm kind of surprised to see the, the render time is still exactly the same. Uh, now here's even more interesting thing. On the 4K export of that video clip, it took HD 5870 card 16 minutes 56.16 seconds. Again, it took less time to export footage. So in, in both occasions, AMD card actually took less time to export. Now this is interesting. Um, maybe uh, export to H.264 format or codec, really AMD card has a better performance um, in terms of the uh, exporting 264 codec. Um, maybe so i mean it, this 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 kind of interesting such old card actually outperform uh much higher performance uh nvidia card so um you know again this test is not scientific but if you guys have different um experience please leave the comment down below and then you know we can share the the experience all right guys thank you very much for watching um hopefully you guys found the result or interesting uh, to me it was very very interesting to see this very old uh, Radeon card um, performance wise uh, almost on the same level with the much newer uh, GTX 90 SC uh, which has a 4 gig VRAM the old AMD card only had one gig VRAM on it uh, now if you guys uh, have different experience or different opinion um, please leave the comment down below um, and we can share with um, other AMD card user or the NVIDIA user for using the Final Cut Pro. To be honest, this result actually opened my eyes to see uh, the how the AMD card perform uh, within the uh, Final Cut Pro. So I'm thinking of getting a AMD card or update version of this in the very near future just to experience what's the real performance improvement uh, within the Final Cut Pro. Um, if you guys have any recommendation uh, for the Hackintosh system, of course, and also please leave the comment down below. Um, maybe I will do another video in the very near future once I got my uh, AMD card. If you guys find a video uh, useful or helpful, uh, please uh, click on the like and share with others. Um, if you didn't like the video for any reason, um, you know what to do. And also please uh, click on the subscribe button to keep up with my channel. So I definitely will upload more videos like this uh, in the near future. Uh, maybe once I got my card. Uh, yeah, so uh, as always, see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe.